Hello, Cyberspace. Space. Now, I know I've been inactive over the last week and a bit. Sorry about that, but, uh, well, I don't really have an excuse for Slack. Uh, I did actually come to a revelation last week that, uh, in the whole spirit of the, uh, thousand and one things in, uh, 101 things in a thousand and one days, sorry, the Day Zero Project. I should actually make this video a diary, I suppose you'd call it, about the entire list rather than just weight loss in general. Um, because, of course, there are going to be times when I really don't have anything to report. Um, I didn't actually get a pair of scales, please don't hurt me. But I did actually manage to weigh myself. I went and saw my mum in Shepparton this weekend. Um, caught up with a few mates, actually uh, caught up with my best mate, who's best man at my wedding. Uh, supposed to have a few quiet beers on Saturday night, but uh, didn't wind up so quiet in the end, actually. Um, which is always good to have nights like that occasionally, but uh, you sort of pay for it the next day and I ate a lot of crap on the weekend, so I'm not feeling so great uh, today, so I had a nice healthy dinner. Uh, tonight and sort of had a healthy lunch today, so I'm feeling alright at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, I'll report on my progress of the list, and uh, just a quick recap for those of you that uh, that wouldn't have seen it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it up now, and. I'll just let you know what the progress is and what I've done and what is still sort of in the process of being done and and things like that. If it will actually come up on my computer. Come on, there we go. Alright. Now, of course, the main goal on there for me anyway, it's to weigh less than 100 kilos. But, that's quite a long term goal, and it's not something that I think will be realised till the 1001 days is up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll actually post a list in the video once I get Windows Media, Windows Movie Maker all sorted out. Uh, but I will read it out to you here. Of course, my first one here is to ride my bike to work for at least a week, uh, which is something I've been planning on doing for quite a while. Uh, but I suppose at the moment, now that I'm working so far away, it might actually be a bit difficult, so I might actually have to rethink that one. Um, fast for Ramadan. Now, that's a purely a curiosity thing, something I've read about. Um, I wasn't raised Muslim, but uh, it is something that I've been wanting to do, just, uh, I suppose, just to explore what my family did and what my ancestors did and what my grandfather did, uh, just to sort of gain a bit of an appreciation. Uh, go a month without grog. Now, this is a big one. Um, I've been thinking about it more and more and more, and I might actually make it my New Year's resolution um, to actually give up drinking. Uh, maybe not for good. Maybe for good. Maybe till my birthday. I don't know, maybe I might feel better without it completely, so you never know. But I'll do it for at least a month through January. Uh, and if I feel good at the end of January, which I know I will, because I did it last year and I felt fucking awesome. So uh, I'll do that through January and uh, see how I feel by the end of it. And I might even go right through to July until where my birthday is. Uh, get a black belt, <laughs> which has been on my agenda since I was about eight years old. So uh, let's make it a reality, shall we? Uh, learn to make pasta sauce, which is something that I used to watch uh, my non do uh, when I was growing up. So it's something that uh, I want to actually spend an entire weekend doing. It's quite a long process um, and it's pretty damn messy. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of bottles and bottle up some, uh, some pasta sauce. And maybe even get a chance to eat it. <laughs> Uh, fight in an AKF sanctioned tournament, which I've done. Uh, way less than 100 kilos, which you would all know. Uh, get a new job or get a promotion. I actually just recently got a new job, um, which is why I'm travelling to Melbourne, why I can't ride my bike to work, which is unfortunate. 
uh, have a baby. Well, obviously, I won't be having the baby, but uh, Karina will be. Um, no, she's not pregnant, for those of you before, before you ask. Uh, but uh, it is definitely on the agenda for the next 12 months or so. Um, now, I want to be able to kick above my shoulder, um, which is slowly but surely getting there. Um, at the moment, I'm sort of getting up. We're off stretched up to around about here. So uh, it won't be long before I'm just above the shoulder level. Uh, now these are three separate ones. Uh, do 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, and do 200 squats. Um, which is something that me and Brendan have been working on all day. He hasn't been around the last couple of weeks, so we might actually have to have a chat to him and uh, see what the go is. But, uh, I don't know if he's been injured or if he's sick or whatever. Um, but I might get in contact with him. Now, to teach Nathan karate until his first grading, Nathan, uh, Nathan's my little nephew, who's seven years old. Um, he's Karina's brother's kid. Uh, good boy. Um, started karate back in, oh, jeez, it might have been June or July. Don't quote me on that. Uh, he's having a bit of trouble. Um, he's got some troubles with his attention span and those kinds of things, so they suggest maybe I should uh, go and teach him around his house, maybe uh, on a weekend or something like that. So. Uh, I should actually get on with it. I'll have a chat to his mum and uh, see what we can organise. Uh, score a sunbon in tournament. Uh, yeah, call me egotistical, but you know, god damn it, I want to do it. That's part of my uh, goal to be able to kick above my head because, well, a head kick scores three points. Either that or I've got to take him down, which I can't see myself being able to take someone to the ground in tournament without being scored on. Um, again, this is a bit egotistical to be able to do it over my washer, Gary, uh, which is. Uh, a reverse roundhouse kick, not an easy feat at all, uh, but I'll give it a go. Uh, <laughs> this one's more of a personal thing, something that uh, that uh, was more at Crane's insistence more than anything, uh, which I have done, uh, as much as some of the guys at work uh, tried to egg me on to get me to slip up, to go a full week without referencing goats, sheep, penguins, cats, human excrement or the female chest area. Now for anyone who's known me for any more than five minutes knows that that is one fucking hell of a feat. It's something that I didn't accomplish easily. So, I mean, it's basically my entire sense of humour right down the shitter. So there we go again. Um, so that was difficult but that's something I did. Uh, to make my own wine uh, which is expensive and quite difficult. So, But something that's definitely on the cards. Uh, go to the dentist. Um, I don't really have any problems with my teeth. Um, I was 22 when I got my first filling, and my only filling for that matter. Uh, then I went meaning to go back just to get it, have a look and uh, see how they're going. But uh, I'm not too, I'm not too worried about it. It's just more, it's just more to give me that kick in the ass so that I'll actually go. Uh, go to the doctor for a checkup again. Same thing. I'm not sick, but I. Sort of do want to have a look at me. You can even have a look at my weight on there as well. Uh, I remember when I first went to him, new GP, I called him and said to him, "Oh, you know, just sort of look me up in the air and give me a general checkup." And uh, so he did. And if actually found out I was just getting married at the time, which I was. This was about two months before our wedding. And there uh, he goes, "Oh, some people like to get an STD test before they got married." I thought, oh, "Yeah, all right. Why the hell not?" You know. So I uh, took some bloods and uh, had a piss in a cup. And uh, looks at me and goes, oh, by the way, I also noticed you're overweight. I thought, like, well, fucking no shit, doctor. I didn't know that. Didn't notice that this massive gut right here. Um, so it is something that um, he has noticed as well. So something that I wouldn't mind getting him to have a look at. Um, go on a camping trip, which is exactly that. I've been wanting to go camping with the boys for ages. And something that we just haven't done. Um, <laughs> do, the, do the backpack of doom with Alex. Now, backpack of doom um, is something that... Uh, was originally coined by an American named Tucker Max. <laughs> now, because we don't have Everclear here in Australia, not that I'm aware of anyway, I think it's an American thing, uh, we decided to use, instead we decided to use Spiritus, um, which is, I think it's about 95% alcohol. It's pretty fucking potent. Uh, so you would generally take Everclear, uh, two cans of Red Bull, or might be four cans of Red Bull, and about a litre and a half of Gatorade. Whack it all on a camelback, and off you go. 
uh, and we haven't been able to do that for months, so it's something that uh, doesn't really fit with my giving up alcohol thing, but uh, it's, uh, it's a goal, something I've been meaning to do. Um, have a night out in Melbourne with Karina uh, and with our friends, uh, which could be a bit of fun, uh, and to go out for breakfast at least six times. Yeah, we don't normally get up that early when I have days off to be able to go out for breakfast, so that's why it's a bit of a goal. Um, and plus, you know, who doesn't love going out for breakfast? It's awesome. And of course, 25 to get my driver's license, uh, which is something I've been wanting to do since I was about 19, and just something I haven't really gotten around to doing. Well, look, I'll only do those for now. I'll uh, I'll post a link down the bottom again if you want to read the rest. I will go through the rest of them next time. Uh, I'll go through the next 25, and over the next four weeks, I'll, uh, I'll go through each one of them. I won't be posting a video on Boxing Day, purely because I won't be here, and let's face it, it's fucking Boxing Day. I'll be spending it with my family. I won't be on the, on the internet for the most part. So I will uh, endeavour to post one a couple of days late, later, though, let you know how my Christmas was and uh, what New Year's is shaping up to be. Well, look... That would be about it from me for now. Uh, if you've got any questions, any comments, anything like that. Oh, actually, before I forget, uh, I have noticed that since I've been posting some of these videos that I have actually gotten a few friend requests, um, even a couple of subscribers as well, which is uh, really cool to see. I didn't think I was that interesting. Thanks, guys. Uh, if you are going to send me a friend request, by all means do so, but please send me a private message. Let me know who you are. Uh, I won't be accepting any friend requests from anyone I don't know uh, or anyone who doesn't bother to tell me who they are. Uh, I don't care if I don't know if I haven't met you or whatever, if you just like my videos or whatever. Uh, but please, send me send me a message, let me know who you are so I can, uh, just so that I can get to know you and so that I can uh, have a look at your own videos as well. Right, cheers guys, I'll see you next time.